Hello and welcome to Game Devar. So let's start with the video. I am using official plugin provided by Godot for in-app purchases. And this script is mostly the demo project uh, demo script provided by Godot for IAP. So I assume that you know how to set up uh, in-app purchases for your app. You first need to up upload your app uh, with um, billing permission in order to add in-apps or subscription. And then you need to create in-apps with a custom uh, unique ID or subscription with unique ID. Fill up its details and the other things you want. So I have created two in-apps, in-app 1, in-app 2. So let's look over to the script. This script was originally and the script provided by Godot demo IAP project. So I have upgraded over it. First, I have created the constant array in which I have put this in app product uh, string, the IDs. The other one the subscription creates one. So the other variables are payment and test item purchase token. Uh, ready function is the same as the script. So when the connection gets established, uh, it emits the connected signal and the connected function, uh, the connected signal and the connected function on connected function uh, initialized. So on connected, there are two things you need to do. First, uh, you need to check if the user has already purchased items or not or subscription. Uh, if user has already purchased any subscription or items in the previous run uh, you can just enable those functions and the other thing is that you need to query SQ details basically what this do is that it get the details of your in-apps and uh, the subscription and using those details uh, you can set up the description and the price and other details for your purchase so payment dot query sq details uh, gets uh, the in-app purchases uh, you can replace this with the subscription and here the subscription if your game only have subscriptions but i'm doing like this then i am checking for the subscription first if the user has already purchased a subscription or not so it returns a dictionary with two things uh, the status and the purchases so if the status is okay go for run the loop inside query subscription dot purchase its array of uh, dictionary array of dictionary basically details so inside first array inside the query subscription dot purchase array and there is going to be a dictionary and inside that dictionary there is going to be a key called sq so you can match in the sq if it's free ads if it's a subscription with this unique id don't load ad or uh, if uh, the purchase or subscription is not empty basically if return if it returns a dictionary inside array uh, don't load ad if it's empty load ad uh, so when a user purchase a subscription it uh, the array gets filled uh, if the subscription got ended it gets an empty array so you can uh, just check if there is something in array don't load it uh, if there is no, uh, nothing in array load it that's an easy way otherwise you can check if your uh, subscription has more details you can check uh, using match so the if purchase is not acknowledged this is not that means you need to acknowledge that purchase purchase of payment dot acknowledge purchase token uh, why i'm doing this i will show you later 
but this is how you acknowledge your purchases when you purchase underscore token so next is i'm checking in the in apps so um, query in app payment query purchase so if user has already purchased an item or not in this case the in apps so check for the status okay uh, it returns array uh, array of dictionary the in purchases is index match uh, the purchase sq so for example add zero index uh, it's a dictionary uh, it is uh, and you can check sq if it's in app one allow its use if in app two allow its use so if there is nothing if the user has not purchased anything it will be an empty array uh, what in this query in app looks like is something this and inside this array and array inside this dictionary and dictionary inside those dictionary and there will be keys like sku and sq will be in app one and other details like description etc etc this is how it's gonna look like now uh, you can get in uh, those uh, details using print and update your functions according to what you required from that print statement similarly here acknowledge so now about this uh, payment sqs query sq details uh, this will return the details of your in-app um, so it will be executed here so there are two variable regard with uh, regarding this function purchasable in-apps which is a dictionary uh, and subscription if it's subscription or not so if it's not a subscription basically it's an in-app inside sq details it's going to return an array so i am using a trick over here you can directly store uh, array inside here just remove the dictionary and type array and use it with the indexes but i am storing it like this in a dictionary uh, with keys uh, so that I, it will be easy for me to just uh, define and just to find the specific key like this in f1 with its data so how i am storing this is that i am assigning the key using this uh, available sq.sq this it will return uh, the product id and assigning the total data into this uh, if you uh, if you directly want to store the SQL details, uh, it will be an array. So now I am what I am doing is um, making the subscription true and running query SQ details again, but this time for the subscription. So it will uh, return an SQL details again in this function and but this time it will not run this one instead it will run else or if subscription so similarly it's going to run a loop for available sq and sq if available sq dot sq basically if uh, the product id is equals to fiat do something or available or enable its function so at the end loading dot hide basically it should run up to un uh, until this up to this uh, in loading uh, screen using loading screen or uh, loading text then when it 
completes uh, all the queries it set up all the related data then you can hide that loading screen so now on purchase update and this will get executed when you purchase an item uh, using this on button press payment or purchase in f1 so if you but press button one it will purchase the in f1 and to buy item i have created a variable here which is string and i am storing the name here uh, to buy item in app equals to one and it will get executed over here so i am again i have created uh, another variable called purchase in app for this function on purchase acknowledged and i am storing purchase in app into buy item purchase in app is simply uh, you have completed the purchase and you have success you have successfully paid for the item and now it's assigned to the purchase in app and it's going to run uh, purchases and purchase in purchases so if it's not acknowledged you need to acknowledge the purchase so payment dot acknowledge purchase purchase dot token this is just a copy paste of the in app uh, script by godot i have just added this line now when your purchase gets acknowledged it will run this function so purchase in app is going to be a string of your product id and purchase subscription is uh, if you purchase a subscription you need to turn on the purchase subscription over here purchasing of subscription is similar to item purchasing it just payment or purchase your subscription id and to buy item will be your purchase id id so over here when your purchase get acknowledged so if the purchase is not a subscription false open the function of purchase in app not purchase is if it's not purchase subscription for example it's an in app and you can just enable you can check in the purchase in app and enable the function according to the um the id you get according to the item that you have purchased uh using ids or if it's subscription you can enable the subscription or that function or match the purchased in app uh, in this case a subscription uh, id and enable the function of that subscription or you can just match uh, purchase in app um, with the id and enable those function and at last you need to save on uh, your changed variables uh, with your save function or you can skip the save because every time you load the in app it will going to get the data from the server yeah i forgot if the purchase is not acknowledged you also need to add one more line purchased in app equal to purchase.sq same here in order to run this acknowledged function smoothly otherwise it won't going to pass this thing and this uh, you can just remove this if you are using this but you need this uh, string variable because there is two scenario for your item to get acknowledged first if you purchase an item and the purchase uh, gets smooth without any problem the item will get acknowledged at the run time but if you purchase that item but due to some circumstances your app got crashed or the user don't 
uh, return to your app uh, it will get uh, acknowledged once again in the runtime if uh, when the user reopens the app over here and your acknowledged purchase will get rerun and in this time you need to uh, assign the id over here and opens the open the function according to your in-app that is getting acknowledged the acknowledgement is necessary otherwise uh, the google will return the purchased money back to user if your app does not acknowledge that purchase uh, so that's all for this video i hope you like this please like share and subscribe and the code will be in the description